Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 30 September 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly contributing editor Donna Slater writes that coastal communities are calling for greater consultation on oil and gas exploration. Large and small-scale fishers and communities on the wild coast of South Africa request that more scientific research be done on the effects of exploration activities and that various stakeholders undertake greater engagement to gain a better understanding of any potential impacts of these activities. The engineering news features focus on aluminium, where South Africa is the largest aluminium producing country in Africa. Waste management, recycling and the circular economy, where the Southern African Biogas Industry Association revamps to improve its services. And working at heights, where drone technology is deployed for working at heights. The Mining Weekly features focus on coal, where Canyon Coal's Guguletu Colliery is still on track to kick off this year. And materials bulk handling and logistics, where a supplier's equipment improves materials handling efficiencies. This week's business leader is Shirley Ann Hayes, founder and CEO of Ship Copper. And in this week's cartoon, South Africans are forced to endure the worst ever year for power cuts, as questions continue to be asked about how we arrived at this confident sapping point. Without new build relief, the overused and under-maintained old fleet was always likely to fall over. Add skills flight and sabotage to the mix, and the dominoes then collapse in a stage six heap. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.